that was uh, that's what I was going to ask. So when you have a situation like what we're having with LLMs and maybe AI in general, are we because there's so much one the inflection is I still so relatively new, right? I think there's probably still technological yeah. development that can happen, but are are the I mean, I want to quote from the book. You say a powerful insight contradicts conventional wisdom, but because so many people are running in, how quickly is everything becoming conventional wisdom? So how do how are we are insights suddenly becoming you know minor insights quickly? That's right, and, and you put your finger on something that is has been my greatest challenge with AI. So I haven't I haven't made a whole lot of AI investments lately. So I've one just came out this week actually. Uh, created by humans with Trip Adler. But um, so why haven't I made that many AI investments? The inflections behind AI are incredibly powerful, right? They're just awesome. They're, they're more than an inflection. It's like a sea change, right? It's, it's, it feels like a sea change in the way that mass computation did with the personal computer or mass connectivity did with the internet and the smartphone. I like to say now we're in the mass cognition sea change. And like, certain cognitive tasks are becoming asymptotically free the way communications bandwidth once did, the way microprocessing uh, power once did. Um, so the inflections are there. You see new ones every week. The problem I'm seeing in AI is I'm not seeing very many insights. I'm seeing, I'm seeing great ideas where I'm like, yes, I can see exactly why someone will want this. And I can also see why there's probably 10 of them just like it right now. And there'll be another hundred soon. And, and when the next LLM comes out of OpenAI, this may be obsoleted by, by what comes out. And so the, the, the challenging thing I'm finding in AI is finding legitimate insights. And so I, I've been very careful about how often I write checks and when, when I do so. So I think that, that's a perfect example. I'm sure that a lot of AI companies that you said are, are coming to your door. So then how are you like in practice using inflection theory to then – weed out the you're right if it sounds plausible there's probably going to be a hundred of them people are going to want this versus the truly compounding powerful yeah. insight driven idea yeah so maybe it's good to illustrate a couple of examples that we said yes to right in ai so um one is a company i invested in a few years ago called applied intuition and applied intuition creates software that allows car companies and av companies and now increasingly like defense anybody with moving big things to do autonomous vehicle simulation and also electric vehicle software platforms. So, you know, uh, if you're going to do a self-driving car, you want to test it for a whole lot of miles. And what they created was the ability to simulate billions, if not trillions of miles in, in, in a simulator. And so that, that helps them uh, anticipate all the corner cases and things like that. But then, what also happened is Tesla started to become the most valuable car company and every car company started to realize we don't know how to do a software defined car the way Tesla does. You know, we've our entire business, the pattern of our business has been predicated by a supply chain that uses Bosch and a bunch of machine shops that, you know, OEM suppliers and folks. And now, you know, Tesla looks more like a computer with wheels and, you know, they're using GPU chips, they're using custom chips and custom operating system software, that type of thing. Well, Kasser, Unit, Kasser Yunus, who's the founder and his co-founder, grew up in Detroit. Kasser went to General Motors Institute before going to Harvard Business School. He'd started a startup before that had succeeded. And then he was at Google and he was working on the Maps team and Peter Ludwig was working on the Waymo team. And so, you know, if you're going to ask car companies for hundreds of millions of dollars, you're looking across the table at the CEO of that car company. That guy's got to believe you can do the job. And those two founders were from Central Casting, right? Like Sam Altman doesn't know how to make a self-driving car, right? He, I mean, he knows a lot about AI, but like he's not going to be able to go to the CEO of one of the largest car companies in the world and say, hey, here's some software. Good luck. And so like there's a certain set of capabilities that you need, a certain set of credibility. I call it founder future fit, right? It's like there, you, you want to ask, why is this the team of all teams in the world who would pull this off? What is it about them? And so, you know, Caster's like, I understand. I've, I've been at real car companies. I've been building AV tech inside of Waymo and Google. Uh, I have all of the best 
talent in the world. I've got a bunch of people who are on the Tesla full self-driving team. I got a bunch of people who are on the Waymo team. I got a bunch of people who are at Zooks, right? Like I, I have access to talent that you just can't get to. Uh, and so I'm your only path. If you, if you think that moving to EVs and AVs is an existential problem for your car company, and you're desperate to solve that problem, I uniquely offer this. Uh, and so that would be one example. But like, you know, for a company like that, an enterprise, you need to ask for giant contracts over $100 million. You need to have access to talent that's so proprietary, it's almost like it's a cornered resource. You need to be able to show that you understand the, the core business of that customer in a very detailed way, you know, that, that you understand the customer's business almost as well as they do. And then you need to be able to demonstrate that you have the engineering chops to actually deliver in production the things that they need uh, to solve their existential worry. Uh, and so there aren't very many of those, right? But like that's that would be an example of an AI company I'd be interested in. 